Hello friends, today we will see how to make clay Ganesha. We need a dye clay and food color and a rock for the base, water for sealing and toothpicks. I'm using a dry clay. It takes 24 hours to dry. So I'm taking small amount of clay. And the little, this is little hard. If you want to make it soft, you can use water. Just little one, one, two drops of water. So it is soft. If you want to make it uh, more saggy, then you can use water, little water. And you have to bring it to chapati dough consistency. I'm making some balls. See, you can see it is so soft. So I'm making different sizes of balls. See, one ball is for tummy, Ganesha tummy, and this is for chest part, and this is head part, and two balls for legs, and two for hands. I'll tell you again. It's for legs, and for the body, head, and hands. So, I'm taking extra clay, and I'm mixing red food color. I want to use that uh, colored clay for Ganesha dhoti part. I think I have used more food color. You can see my hands. Yeah, you have to blend it so well. So it get mixed with uh, like all the clay. You can see my hands. So I'm taking one more uh, little dough and using, yeah, I'm using rolling pan and uh, uh, yeah, I'm sticking to the rock. So you need to use water uh, friends. Otherwise it will not stick. When it get dried, it will come out of it. So you use water to stick it. Now I'm making leg parts. So I'm using water as the glue. I'm checking like I, I want uh, one leg to be on the uh, floor. Uh, and the other leg going to be the cross like that I'm planning so this is foot part friends so you can make the toes by using the toothpick you can see in the video how I'm doing so using the water I'm sticking that to the base And whenever you stick it and you have to use the water to soften like for the smooth finishing. So the same thing I'm doing for the, the other leg. I'm using the same way to make the foot and the toes for the Ganesha. Now we will take the uh, red color dough and uh, we will make the dhoti out of it. I 
I'm using toothpick to make the lines and uh, using some modeling uh, tools to make the design see whenever uh, you want to glue it use water and uh, whenever you make a design also for the smooth finishing you use water so now I took the uh, tummy part and the chest part I attached together using the toothpick uh, that helps as a backbone for the Ganesha like because uh, the Ganesha head part is heavy so it will to balance that we are using the toothpick you can see it here now I'm making the hands so this is blessing hand yeah again i'm using toothpick to make the fingers if you feel the toothpick is sticking use dip it in the water so it will not stick to the clay see i'm using you can see like a So again using water I am sticking hands uh, to the chest shoulders. So when you attach hands you have to seal with, uh, with water from the back and from the side. You can see how I am doing. For smooth finishing I am using the tool. the uh, shape of the hand you have to plan before only when you stick it you can't uh, change the shape or the smoothness so better take care before sticking only you will you have to smooth the hands yeah this is the other hand I think that, uh, this hand looks little long so I'm adjusting the length the shape texture every depends on how you uh, make it the way you roll it the way you stick it that, that brings up the shape and the smoothness of the idol So now we will plan some of the ornaments for Ganesha. These are the necklaces. Now I want to make uh, some shawl for Ganesha. I am going for the white one. If you want to give different design you can give I felt this is easy so I'm doing this design everything you have to seal it properly friends otherwise when it get dried you can see the cracks so try to use more water to soften Now I'm making ornament for hands. If you don't have the model, I use toothpicks.
I'm making the some hand lines, palm lines for both the hands. I'm doing the head part. So slowly roll it and uh, bring up the trunk. See, you can see the trunk part how it is came. I'm measuring the head size. If you don't use the toothpick friends because of the head weight the idol will not stand the head part it will not be in the shape so better to use some support okay for the body and the head part so here I'm um, giving eye, eye shape These are eyebrows. And don't worry friends, it's a modeling clay. Even if it is out of shape, you can make you can bring it back to the shape. And this clay is so soft and so comfortable see now I'm attaching the eyes I'm using white clay if you want you can use mud color also now we'll make ears for Ganesha So whenever uh, we attach something, we have to seal them from the front and the back as well. You can see in the video I am sealing front and back. So now we will make the turban for Ganesha. So I am not using much colors. If you want you can use different colors also. Either you can leave with the turban or you can make the crown also. So I'm making the lines for the trunk and whenever you make any marks or dots any design on the clay you just tap with the water and then smooth the surface so the crown part is also ready and uh, always try to make the uh, head lightweight otherwise it will be out of shape So I am making some lines here so that whatever design we will make it will stick properly. <coughs> okay. If you want to make other designs you can make also. I am making it simple. I'm making some design for the necklaces if you want we can make uh, for the other ornaments as well I'm making a modak or laddu for Ganesha So just for modak uh, what you need to do is you need to just uh, you need to make up the 
side markings you can see here it's like a drop shape to the drop shape I'm making the marks with the toothpick see our Modak Ganesha Modak is also ready we'll make some more laddus here Now we'll make mouse for Ganesha. So we'll make small mouse for Ganesha. Now we'll attach the tail to him. And we'll make some uh, neck part. We can give some dress cloth for um, Mushak also. Let's make some ornaments for uh, Mushak. So our Ganesha is almost ready. The, I think we almost got Ganesha shape just we will do some tuning part See our Ganesha is ready. Let it dry for 24 hours. It's just a dry. You no need to keep it outside in the sunlight. So after coloring, you can see. I didn't give any colors to Ganesha. I just highlighted his ornament with glitter. See, this is how he is looking. This is my last year Ganesha that also I made with the uh, uh, floor, rice floor. You can see the decoration, everything is DIY. Hope you like this video. If you like, give thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you.